的想你，和你在一起后的每天，我的话你都还没听见，就突然已经走远。Hey, what's up? Welcome back, everybody. It's Xavier Garnier in the building. How you all doing? So, our boy Matt Rife has gotten himself in some trouble again because apparently he's made an offensive joke, you know, like most comedians do, and now people are all super pissed off at him. And so, we're gonna be watching this video just to see what all happened.、Uh, and how I do I give my commentary in between? Let's go. Matt Rife, after his Netflix special, is facing the cancel movement. All I can say is good for Matt Rife because he's not apologizing. Controversy over Netflix specials is nothing new. Like Dave Chappelle, who was nearly canceled for defending J.K. Rowling and her comments on transgender people in his comedy special on Netflix. Which, after Netflix refused to remove the special, Tara Field, who was a senior developer at Netflix and a transgender woman, resigned from the company. Well, I mean, yeah, they weren't going to remove him. Dave Chappelle makes them a lot of money because he's loved by so many people over the world. So, in these kind of situations, what you're essentially asking a company to do is lose money because we were offended by something somebody said. They're not gonna do that. Like I know a lot of people love to do this whole thing of boycotting companies that don't submit to their will, but the reality is, companies are always going to put making money over anybody else's happiness. It's just how it works. Sorry to go off topic a little bit, guys. It's just I, I just feel like that's something that needed to be made clear. Despite all the controversy, Dave Chappelle's ticket sales have gone up since the controversy. Netflix has even rehired him to do more specials. Now there's Matt Rife's comedy special where he got criticism for a joke talking about a hostess at a restaurant who had a black eye. Where he joked that they should have kept the hostess with the black eye in the kitchen, but then also said if she was good in the kitchen, she wouldn't have a black eye. Oh yeah, and here's another thing too. I actually decided to watch that segment of what he said just so that I can get the full context, because a lot of times in these situations, there's a lot of removing context from things that people say, and it usually ends up making what they say look a bit worse. Now, obviously, I can't play the video on here because it'll probably get my video taken down for the copyright, and then you guys won't be able to see this. But however, what a lot of people keep leaving out about this whole joke that Matt Rife told is immediately after he said that, the only reason why he told that joke was just to test the waters to see if the crowd was fun or not. Because when he told this joke, it was literally the beginning of the special. But of course, as always, nobody ever wants to give any context. Now, as far as people trying to cancel him goes, he's not gonna get canceled, bro. Matt is literally always in controversy all the time, and it hasn't affected his career thus far. Whether it be that time that he touched Zendaya's face while trying to raise her up on Wild and Out, to that time in that workout video where he said that guys want to have a chest to look like a man's and not like a 12-year-old girl's, which I'm not gonna lie, people were reaching way too hard on that one. Or the time he mentioned what kind of body types he likes in girls, and now this. And people have since asked Netflix to remove this joke from the special, and Matt Rife responded saying this is just a fictional bit for a comedy routine. He's not going to apologize for it. Then Matt Rife released a link saying it was going to be for his apology video, but instead it was a link leading to a website selling helmets for special needs people. Now, because of that, special needs people are asking Matt Rife to apologize as well. And the thing is, he's a comedian. It's just a joke. With that, I'm Charles Pro. Subscribe if you learn. All right. So as far as the whole special needs helmet thing goes, a lot of y'all got to understand, cancel culture is the reason why he's doing this. Because a lot of people don't understand, this whole cancel culture thing is starting to backfire. Because a lot of the people that bought into it don't seem to understand. Y'all have done this canceling stuff so much now that now you've just started making celebrities just not care anymore. Because in their minds, like, okay, fine, you're gonna be mad at me for like two weeks, and then we're gonna go right back to normal again. So now there's really no reason to keep constantly censoring themselves. And the reality is, the more y'all keep trying to cancel and drag people down, the more celebrities are just gonna start not caring and doing whatever they want. All right, so in the middle of this video, I decided to go do some research for myself and just see what everybody's saying about the dude and see just what the people who are mad at him's actual opinions are. Now, one opinion that I've been seeing being thrown around quite a bit is that the guy's only doing this so that he can appeal to a male audience. Now, the thing is, I actually do agree with this opinion because I have seen him say something like this before, where he said that he wouldn't mind having a mostly male audience or something like that. I'll have to look it up again. And to be honest, in my opinion, you can't really be mad at him for that because, well, he's a man, and so regardless of him having a mostly female audience, the things that he will find the most funny to joke about will likely be things that men find to be funny. And sometimes those kind of jokes aren't always going to be things that women are going to find funny. It's like there's this huge belief that female comedians are not funny. In my opinion, what I've noticed is 
It's not a matter of them not being funny. It's just more so a matter of men and women find different things to be funny because we have different experiences. For example, a lot of men don't find Amy Schumer to be funny, but I'm pretty sure there's a lot of women out there that really appreciate her comedy because it's more relatable to women than it is for men. And another thing that I saw people saying about Matt, and honestly, it was kind of annoying having to look at this, is where they're trying to say that, oh, he looks like the dude from Big Mouth. Or all his face looks weird and yada yada yada. Shut up. Remember, the guy has a mostly female audience. Therefore, we know for a fact he does not look bad at all. And honestly, I gotta say this. Men and women both equally need to stop doing this. To where they'll think somebody is super attractive until they don't agree with them politically or they say something that offends them. Then all of a sudden, it's all they're ugly anyways. No, they're not. For example, take Billie Eilish. She has a lot of dumb takes on some things. But come on, we have to be truthful. She is a very beautiful girl. And if I were ever to criticize her, I would solely talk about what she says, not what she looks like. But playing this whole game of, oh, you have to believe what I believe or you're ugly, no. It's immature and it's childish as hell. Because this nigga did not look like no big mouth character until he made that joke. So stop it. Anyways, I think the guy's career is going to be just fine. This is just going to be yet another controversy that he gets himself in that everybody's going to forget about in like a month. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. If you're rocking with my content, hit your boy with a subscribe. If you don't feel like doing that, hit your boy with a like because it really helps me out with the algorithm. And also remember to share my videos around because it gets my name out there more. If you want to see what I'm doing in my personal life outside of YouTube, Go hit up my Twitter or my Instagram. Both are linked in the description below. I'll see you guys in my next one. Goodbye.